Hey guys, I just wanted to go over this quick project. I had this tape stuck within this cassette adapter and this is an old 1989 family video that I didn't want to lose and I couldn't find any good videos out there without destroying the adapter or destroying part of the tape. So I'm going to try to give you some tips to successfully retrieve this tape. The first thing you need to understand is the mechanism. If you see on the back part a uh, plastic piece that is covering half of that, then don't put it into the VCR. Okay, that It's just going to spit it out and make things worse. So if you see a plastic lever in the middle here, that's when you know you need to stop. Two, you need to understand the mechanism. When you open the door here, there's going to be two little roller sleeves that come here, and then they push out to lift the flap here so that the VCR can read. So this is the mechanism that you need to understand before we start. So as you unlatch it, you see the arms come down and the arms comes up. Right now, there's only one arm. There should be two arms. See, so this is already broken, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Again, there's supposed to be two arms here. And the second arm is supposed to be up here, on the upper right right here. So I'm going to go ahead and close. First thing you want to do is remove the battery to prevent any further damage. This disables the mechanism. And there are about eight screws on the back, which you need to un unscrew. There are the top, here, 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 as well as the corners. Okay, so I've already removed six of them. I'm just going to remove the last two. These screws are pretty uh, low quality, so make sure you use a high quality Phillips so that you don't strip them. If you strip them, you're not going to be able to re retrieve this. You can lift this cover up. When you lift, most likely this arm will dislodge. So I'll show you how to properly put it in. So I'm going to lift up. And it's right here. So this arm right here is normally dislodged. It might be like this, or it might be out here. It's really easy. Just line it up with the two holes here. Okay. When you first pick it up, your tape in here is going to be facing this way, and you're going to have your ribbon out here, and it's going to damage your ribbon. So, so what you do is part of retrieving this is learning how to manipulate this roller as well as the roller up here. Okay, so let's pretend that this tape was in here. Right across here is where your ribbon should be floating, right? And you want to be very careful so that it doesn't wrinkle because that's where it's going to mess up your family videos. So the first thing you want to do here is go ahead and lift this piece out gently, just straight out. And that should be the first arm to go out. You're going to lift this piece out, straight out. And right there, you're 50% out, Ray. You're 50% done releasing the film from the left arm. The right arm at this point is going to be trapping the rest of the film on the right side. So you go ahead and this piece pulls right out. Okay. So go ahead and pull this arm out. And it goes right out. See that? Pull it right out. Pulls right out. Okay, so right now, these are the pieces, these are the only pieces you should be removing. This piece, this piece, 
as well as this piece, okay? At this point, you have this ribbon floating. Go ahead and take your, your index finger and rotate. And that's how you tighten up. Now you just need to install everything in reverse. So you put this one back here. Line it with the circle. Line it with the rail right there. You take this cog wheel and you put it back there. That cog wheel is going to line up with this piece right there. And then this arm, this one's tricky because you have to put it through this peg right here and then in between this little crevice. So I'm going to push it in. You see? This is in. This is lined up. This is in. It's lined up. And again, this cog should line up with this cog. That's that's all you need to remove. Nothing else. Otherwise, plastic pizza will start popping out and you won't be able to put them back in. So that's it. We're going to put the cover back on and you line it up and that's when you can put the battery back in so I'm just gonna hold on to it so that you can see if the mechanism will work and flip it over for you at this point if you installed everything right and you dislodge the tape you should be able to pop this open as you can see, I now fixed it. There's two arms. There's the left roller and the right roller. As I close it, the two should retract. You see the left and the right, and we're good. Okay, so at this point, you should be able to successfully retrieve it again. The only time you're going to put the battery back in is if you successfully put in the left roller, the right roller, and you've tightened the, the right cog. You tighten the right cog and the, the film is no longer catching. This cog is lined up with that. That's when you put the battery in. So again, I'm gonna flip it over. Release. Both arms should be out. You pull the tape out. Okay. Good luck, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. This is specifically for the VCon, the VHS cassette converter. This one's different, okay? The JVCs, I, I don't know how to do that one because it wasn't jammed in that one. All right, thanks, guys.